wild times. I mean, have we heard of a sandbar shark? I have. I have. How many teeth over the course of its lifetime, Peter, you go first, do you think a sandbar shark will go through? Uh, sandbar shark. They're in the sand, obviously. And the bar. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably. Oh, your mic cut out, pal. Yeah. You went silent, mate. You must have unplugged I'll your go. mic. I'll go while he thinks about it. Um, yep. I've seen them. They're also, sandbar sharks are also known as ragged tooth sharks because they have these crazy teeth everywhere. I'm going to guess, and I found, I've got a whole handful of them. I'm going to say 300 teeth in their Check. lifetime. Jack? Okay. You're Go good, back. Peter. So Forrest says 300 teeth for the ragged tooth sandbar shark. Can, what do you think? What do you think, Peter? Can you hear me? Yeah, very yes, well. Peter. Loud and oh. clear. Fuck. My bars aren't bouncing. Okay. So uh, like I said, this thing goes through, in the sand. This thing goes through many, many teeth because he's eating hard-shelled mollusks constantly uh, buried in the sand in the bottom Big of the words. ocean. <laughs> he goes through... 760 teeth in his life. Wow. So you, you more than doubled what Forrest said. What if I told you that over the course of a sandbar shark's life, it would go through 35,000 teeth? Wow. <laughs> Damn it. I, I was going to no go idea. something ridiculous too. I had no idea. That's insane. I've never heard of anything like this. Is, is it because of what they're eating? Why do you think they would evolve that way? So they have very thin, pointy, sharp teeth, sort of similar to a mako. Kyle, in fact, you can pull one up. So pull up sandbar shark or ragged tooth shark. Uh, either one should come up. And I'm guessing that they've evolved that way, and maybe you know the answer, because they have these sort of sharp, brittle teeth that are designed for catching fish. And they're, they're just like, they're like little daggers, so they must break constantly. Um, mm, oh, maybe I'm mixing. No, there's a ragged tooth there. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's a good picture. Um, God. so that's my guess. Look I'm guessing they're shredder. just breaking them constantly. So they're shedding them all the time. Cause they act like this, like bizarre trap of spikes to catch fish. They, yeah. There's those those teeth, those teeth don't look that like girthy or, or powerful, like powerful. They look just sharp and painful. You know what I mean? They're needle like they're <laughs> yeah. absolutely yeah. needle like, uh, all right. Sure. Or false. Just just doing a couple little shark trivias in the yeah. spirit of the big shark week coming. Are you are you doing something with Shark Week? No. Oh no, man. That's too bad. I was gonna say we should do something, but never mind. Um, I would love to. But uh <laughs> okay. Some bottom dwelling sharks, like angel sharks and nurse sharks, have a spiracle. What does the spiracle do, Peter? Nurse sharks and angel and angel sharks. Yeah, they're bo bottom dwellers. That might help you. That might give well, you a clue. So um, <laughs> it, it sounds like the word spiritual. I'm guessing that so, it, it has something does. to do with transferring their soul into heaven after they die. Okay. That's not a that's terrible really guess. guess. Yeah, it's not a terrible because it does do some transferring. Um, the spiracle <laughs> is an organ that transfers blood. Oh, no, sorry, oxygen into the blood. What is it, through the nostrils? Nostrils. Very, very solid. It's Forest is a little closer. It's it's not that it rhymes with spiritual. It uh, <laughs> It is located behind the eyes and supplies oxygen directly to the shark's eyes and brain while they're That's at rest so that when is. they're not moving, they're still getting oxygen to their brain as oh. less water is passing over the gills. Right, and the reason being, yeah. just so everybody that's watching this understands, there's this old, old saying, and it's a misconception that like sharks always have to swim because that's how they they flush water over their gills to get oxygen. Well, that's not true. There are tons of species of benthic sharks, like horn sharks and angel sharks and wabi gongs and so on, and they can actually pump water with their gills. But that's not as energy efficient as when you're swimming and there's just naturally tons of water pumping through your gills. So while those sharks are at rest, the spiracle helps oxygenate, you know, things that it needs to function like the eyes and the brain and so on and so forth. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy that every creature on earth has to sleep. Like, I, it, I know I, it's nuts. Like you, mm -hmm. there's so many mechanisms in place to facilitate creatures sleeping. Like this, this needs this special organ. All of these things. Did you just say like, sleeping? Did you say creatures sleeping? 
No. Did I? I don't know. I but I have. did appreciate how you almost spit out your disgusting <laughs> vodka drink you're drinking. It's a combo of how gross the drink is and sleeping. Um, <laughs> you got, a, you got another that. one, Pat? You got another yeah. one? What is the smallest species of shark? I think this would make a fantastic and, and whimsical shark week, by the way. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I've seen sharks in like 10 gallon fish tanks. I, I don't know what they were called, but I'm going to go with micro shark. Okay. That's a good that's, guess. That's a really good guess just based on the name. Um, is it a ratfish? Is that the smallest species of shark? Uh, the smallest species of shark known to man is the dwarf lantern shark, which oh, if Kyle, right. if you can pull up a picture, uh, with a Mac, yeah, tiny, tiny little brown, yeah. weird. Where do you find these things? I've never even heard They're of this They're a deep thing. ocean, like all lantern sharks are a deep, deep ocean animal. So I think, um, they're, I believe they're relatively, Kyle said he was taken off for a second, but, um, I believe on, they're a relatively it. newly discovered species, but I, I don't know the answer. I just know they're deep ocean. Okay. I also know Last. that there's another one called the ninja lantern shark, by the way. Ninja lantern shark. Yep, All right. That's, Here's that's another guy type right of here. Shark. Yeah. Adorbs. Tiny. So, oh, look. Soup. To a pencil. It looks like a sardine, dude. It really does. <laughs> Are those good eating? If, that yeah, mouth, you deep fry it, it's going to be great. No question. That m- mouth looks like good kissing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last, last one. Last one. This is this is a little subjective, but I think Forrest is going to get it. What shark species has a reputation for being the ugliest shark? I, I think I know the answer. Wow, this has got to be a deep deep sea shark, considering there's no light down there. Nobody has to look at its ugly face. I'm going to go with the deep sea shark. Final answer. Good guess. <laughs> the, my final answer is the goblin shark. That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> oh, that's, I should have fucking known too. The, the goblin. You know what the shark. goblin shark is, right, Peter? I do, and the name in and of itself. Oh God! Yeah. yeah. Yikes! That's a sexy tra- mofo right there. I, I swear to God, I've seen a human that looks like that. I can't. I can't put my <laughs> finger on who. <laughs> but, yeah. By the way. I was just wow, look say. how big that one is. Look how big. Can you go up, Kyle, to that next to a person? No, one more up. That's that that perspective's a joke. I didn't know they got that big. I, thought <laughs> I didn't that, either. I thought, I thought they were they like were three like, feet. Yeah, yeah, same. That's uh, that's awesome. Wild times. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.